thank the men and women who volunteer to give their all to protect us, the soldiers, the veterans, the fallen, who never thought twice about storming into enemy territory to defend our freedoms. They will and they have selflessly put their lives on the line to shield you, me, strangers. We want to introduce you to a couple of those heroes. Jacqueline's in the audience with them right now. Oh, yeah, Lisa, I am surrounded by a lot of heroism here today. We have veterans, we have active military, and one of our veterans joining us today is? John Moran. Now, John, uh, where did you serve and when? Well, I served in Guantanamo Bay when I was in the Navy, then in the Army. I served in Italy. I served in Panama, Vietnam, and various stations in the United States. And how many years? 24 and a half. What's your, what's your lasting memory of, of your service? Well, coming home from Vietnam was uh, a little tough, but- uh, Difficult we'll, we'll time. Yes, sir. Well, thank yes, you for sir. your service, and thank you for being here today. No. And I am going to move down the line. We have uh, active military, and you are? Uh, Sergeant DePiro. Sergeant, I'm gonna have you stand up. So I, Absolutely. So I don't, there we go. Uh -huh. and, uh, and where are you serving now? I'm an uh, active recruiter here uh, in Salisbury, ma'am. And, and what has your service been? You said you've been to Afghanistan? Yes, ma'am, three times. And what, uh, you, you were telling me an interesting story about when you were serving over there. Tell me one of that story again. Oh, yes, uh, my earliest deployment, uh, 2010, Helmand Province, actually. Uh, we were providing aid to some of the local communities there who didn't have food or water and uh, were actually rebuilding their houses. And a little girl, she couldn't have been any older than five, came up to my kneecaps. She came uh, running up to me, uh, tears in her eyes and everything, talking to me in Pashto, and I couldn't really understand what she was saying, but uh, our translator told me that she was uh, thanking me for building her house and bringing stuff, uh, bringing toys and stuff to her, so. That must have been an amazing moment. Yeah, it really was, it really was. Is that something that you anticipated when you went into the service, or is that kind of an added benefit? Absolutely not, uh, my first, uh, my first, yeah, uh, image of actually going overseas was not going to be that. <laughs> so. so a brighter moment for sure. Absolutely, yes, ma'am. All right. Well, thank you so much for your service as well, and thank you to thank all you. of you for joining us today. Now, Lisa, I guess I'm going to uh, toss it back to you to find out more about a special event honoring our servicemen and women. Now, that's right, Jackie. And as we mentioned, while expressing gratitude to our service members might seem impossible, there are people on Delmarva who are making an effort and you can join them. Here to explain are the choral and music director of Anthem of the Brave, Alice Wigfield, and president of Power Production Ministries, Sean Smith. Thank you both Thank you. for being here this afternoon. Sean, I want to start with you. Anthem of the Brave actually was inspired by your grandfather? Yes, uh, my grandfather, Jerome Donaway, uh, was, he fought in World War II, um, and he was actually one of the brave soldiers that stormed the beach in Normandy on D-Day. Wow. Um, he never spoke a lot about his time in the war, and um, and I grew up never really uh, knowing too much about it. He never spoke, uh, you know, a lot about it, but um, <clears throat> I wanted to later in life uh, really uh, um, honor him and honor our troops, and this was one way of doing that. Uh, I think that uh, as I've gotten older, I've learned to appreciate more uh, our troops, our veterans, for what they do and the depth of their sacrifice. And that's what we wanted to relay. We wanted to, number one, honor our veterans and troops, but we also wanted to uh, do a tribute and benefit so that we could, you know, give back to them. And also, uh, we wanted to educate those that may, like me, that it maybe uh, didn't know uh, what it's like to wait at home for someone or, or something like that, you know. And that is what Anthem of the Brave is all about. So, what is it? It's going to be a multimedia concert uh, program. We have a locally written story, and it's been acted out by local people and put into film, and then all kinds of special effects. Beautiful film, very heart-rendering film. And then in between, we have uh, a community choir from all around the region and a full symphony orchestra directed by uh, Norm Smith. And so we're going to have music with the video, uh, in between, and it's very emotional, very I inspirational. Bet. You might need to bring a few tissues. Yeah, it sounds uh, like it. Yeah. But it's going to be a powerful program. And for the, the veterans and the service people, there's a little something special for them? Oh, yes. Every veteran who comes is going to have a very special gift given to them. Oh, okay. So you have been working on this, Sean. You guys have been working on this for, what, two years? Yeah, about two years. Um, you know, I really... Uh, felt led to do it because I, I you know the we say thank you for your service uh, 
Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes our words just fall short of what our true uh, uh, desire is to say thank you and to salute our, our uh, military, to um, give back to them. So this is an opportunity for Delmarva to come together and work together and, and you know, salute our troops, to uh, honor them, to give back to them, and to say thank you in a broader sense, to take an extra step, if you would. I imagine you want to, you really want to make it the best it can be, and uh, so what goes into putting on a production like this? A lot of work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a friend told me that uh, inspiration is 5%, 95 is perspiration, and, mm -hmm. uh, but Sean has been the, the inspiration behind the whole thing, putting it all together. And so we've done a lot of work. We've arranged a lot of the music. As, uh, the very ending is some original music. Mm -hmm. And again, we just want to allow our community to feel the love of their country in their heart, but at the same time, salute our veterans. And ticket sales benefit the Fisher House, which we've talked about in the past. Yes, all, all proceeds of the ticket sales uh, go to the Fisher House Foundation, which is based out of Rockville, Maryland, but they're a national uh, veterans charity. Mm -hmm. uh, but keep in mind that we also have that special gift for our local troops, so that it's, it's you know, it's kind of, uh, it's doing a, a multi-tier different things, you know. I mean, it's doing, uh, um, it's, you know, supporting the, the troops locally, nationally, and it's also educating people, I think, about what troops go through and the depth of what they go through. And briefly, for those who don't know, what is Fisher House? Uh, the Fisher House Foundation is a uh, national charity that helps veterans and their families in times of um, crisis, uh, provides housing for them. Uh, for instance, I'll give you, a, for instance, uh, if a veteran were to uh, go be in a hospital, veterans hospital, they would provide housing for their families to be near them while they're healing and things. So that's just one example of what they do. Uh, and over 90% of what is given to the Fisher House goes directly to the veterans and their families. All right, so for the uh, the event Anthem of the Brave, it is May 19th through the 21st at Delmarva Christian Community Center. That's on Gordy Road in Salisbury. Now, the times vary. Uh, so you're gonna wanna go to our website, delmarvalife.com. We're gonna have all the times and of course how you can uh, get your tickets, all the information you need. Alice, Sean, thank you so much for thank all you, you do. It thank sounds you. like it's gonna thank be you. a great event.